Welcome to another round of Bob's Technical Corner. Today we're going to talk about battery testing. We're going to talk about the Byte 3, the Mega Byte 3, battery impedance testing. And I think if you have a string of batteries as backup in industry, you're going to love this product. It is the newest and has the most advanced features of any testing unit on the marketplace. Where is it used? That's a good question. It is used any place there are backup batteries. Let's pick some industries that you're very familiar with and you're probably looking to solve a problem. Telecommunications, transportation, utility power generation, utility substations, emergency lighting, health, computer systems. What does this unit measure? Let's look at some of the parameters, and it measures a lot of parameters. It measures DC voltage, it measures AC impedance, and it measures the resistance between the links of cells, cell resistance. However, it also measures flow current, ripple current, and I'll describe those in a minute and the importance of those. And uh, spectrum, it, it has the capability of being a spectrum analyzer. Remember that this unit is completely PC compatible. Has great software. You're going to love this unit. It's easy to operate. We lead you down the path and the path is going to give you information on your strings of batteries today, tomorrow and in the future. Let's take a moment and let's set up a test. Now we've done a test already. I wanted to show you some of the features of the unit. Now the unit, you should be able to see the front of the unit and it walks you through. The menu system walks you through. But this session is not to walk you through, it's to show you some of the key features. One of the, one of the interesting parts is that each, this is a separate probes and each of the probes has an LED on the end. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to run a short video which is going to show the LED in operation. Now let's look at the probes. When the red LED is on, it means the circuit is not complete. Let's check our connections. When the flashing yellow is on, we are now prepared to do the test. When we see the solid yellow, the test is now proceeding. And when the green finally comes up, the test is now finished. Now we're going to look at the data. One of the things we want to discuss is how important the data and the analysis of the data is. I mentioned before that in addition to impedance and intercell resistance, we also measure float and ripple current. Float current, as batteries degrade, float current increases. As float current increases, there's a possibility for thermal runaway to occur. And that's not good in any business, especially when it's a battery business. Um, because as thermal runaway increases, then the battery degrades and we have a real problem with most of the string. In addition to the float, we're also looking at ripple current. Ripple current is an indication, not of the battery, but of the battery charging system. Because wherever there are strings of batteries, there's a charging system. If that charging system allows more AC then should get into the system, ripple current is going to show us and that's where the spectrum analyzer is going to look at the harmonics. There is no other unit that I know of that shows that. That's quite an advantage. Let's look at one of the curves. This curve is going to show us acceptable and non-acceptable values. This is a typical analysis curve coming out of the proactive software. There is none on the marketplace that gives us so much information in so little time. This is the Byte 3. For additional information, technical assistance, please call one of our customer service representatives and we'll be happy to solve your problem. Thanks for watching.